second time in a week that something like this happened. On April 14th, the plane crashed into the Gem State Processing in East Idaho. What's going on here? Well, the story gets weirder. Food processing plants all over the country seem to be catching fire. A couple of days ago, a fire destroyed the headquarters of Azure Standard, one of the largest organic food distributors in the country. At the end of last month, a fire severely damaged a fresh onion packing facility in South Texas. In Oregon, a potato chip processing plant to support a boiler explosion that sent workers to the hospital. Here's a news report on that. Eastern Oregon, where crews are battling a major fire at a potato chip processing plant. Air 12 flew over the scene at Shearer's Foods on Highway 207 in Hermiston. We're told the fire was caused by an explosion of a portable boiler there. Two people were taken to the hospital. So industrial accidents happen, of course, but this is a lot of industrial accidents at food processing facilities at the same time the president's warning us about food shortages. They're going to hit by planes and catching fire. What is going on here exactly? Jason Rance hosts a radio show in Seattle and joins us to put it into perspective. Jason, good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, obviously when something happens every so often, you obviously hope that there's no significant damage and certainly no one gets hurt, but you kind of write it off. It's not that big of a deal. Accidents happen. But when you've got well over a dozen food processing plants and warehouses getting destroyed or seriously damaged over just the last few weeks, at a time when the food supply is already vulnerable, it's obviously suspicious, and it could lead to serious food shortages. That's why some folks are now wondering, well, number one, what's going on? And you've got some people speculating that this might be an intentional way to disrupt the food supply. So Wait, may I ask you to pause there really quick? quick? Can I ask you, I just want to nail this down so our, our viewers understand. There have been confirmed over a dozen disabling accidents at food plants in the last month, over a dozen. Absolutely. And we're talking about some really significant plants. The Taylor Farms facility in Salinas, California, was completely destroyed by a fire last week. We've had two major potato processing plants in Belfast, Maine, and Warden, Washington, that were completely gutted, which is happening at a time where we already have a potato shortage globally. You were talking about the onion supply at that Rio Fresh. But it's not just produce plants. Last month, there was a fire that took out a Nestle uh, food plant out in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Arkansas, and that's impacting frozen food brands like Hot Pockets or Stouffer's, which maybe you might buy if you can't get fresh food from a warehouse that just exploded. And that Shearer's food facility you just mentioned in the open, I mean, that's the only West Coast facility that they operate. So there is some significant concern, of course, that this is going to impact the supply chain. Now, to be clear, the timing is very suspicious. It's obviously concerning. Police are saying that these fires are due to faulty issues with equipment, so they're not saying that this was intentional. Either way, it's obviously going to have some significant you know, implications in us getting our food. Yeah. I mean, an hour ago, a plane crashes into a General Mills facility? We'd already planned this segment. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. The onus is on people who think that's a conspiracy theory to explain what is going on. What are the odds of so I'm not sure how many people are aware of this, but during the last three years, there have been 27 major fires at food processing plants across the country, including three fertilizer plants. Now, we're only four months into 2022, and there were 17 major fires this year already, three of them at fertilizer plants in February, March, and April, now that we have an issue with fertilizer due to the Ukraine-Russia situation. There were also eight major fires at food processing plants last year. And then in 2020, there was a major fire at a Tyson Foods plant. And in 2019, there was a major fire at another Tyson Foods plant. Altogether, Three Tyson Foods plants across the country have been involved in major fires. If you watch my channel, you know I've got some clips of news articles about these fires. Seems to me they're not only predicting a food shortage, but they're doing everything in their power to make sure one happens. Take a look at these clips.